I, I would ask the question of you, Ms. McCabe, that when the EPA put out its utility MAC rule, it estimated that it would result in uh, a retirement of fewer than 10,000 megawatts of power plants. That was two years ago. Uh, do you stand by this estimate? Uh, Senator Inhofe, um, let me first say how much I enjoyed meeting with you the other day and uh, look forward to, to working with you. <clears throat> as, as I recall from, from that record, um, what uh, was estimated uh, as part of that record was that uh, less than half of a percent um, of uh, generation, coal-fired generation, would retire as a result of the, the MATS rule. Oh, okay, in spite of what they have said, the recent report concluded that 51,000 megawatts of generation is a direct result of this regulation. And most of this will occur in the next 53 weeks, as I said in my opening statement. And you add to that the 316 rule. Um, uh, FERC Commissioner Moeller recently said that these reductions to our base load electricity generation could result in rolling blackouts in just the next few years. If we find ourselves in that situation of blackouts and you're in the position that you hold right now, will you admit that this is the fault of the EPA? And its regulations? Uh, I'm not familiar with the specific uh, statistics that, that you're citing, uh, Senator. I will tell you uh, that we work very closely with the Department of Energy and with FERC and, and with the uh, oh, okay. energy. That, that's, that's fine. Um, the Section 321A of the, uh, we have a chart. We put the chart up. It says that the administrator, that, now this was 1977 or whenever the, it was uh, the Clean Air Act was uh, passed or the amendments. Uh, it said the administrator shall conduct continuing evaluations of potential loss or shifts of employment, which may result from the administration or enforcement of the provisions of this act and applicable implementation plans. Now, do you, do you find, you, you said in my office when I read this to you, to me, this is very specific. What is vague about this statement? Um, I, I don't think I suggested anything was vague about the statement, Senator. Uh, the, the agency well, the does e conduct ongoing uh, reviews and inquiries into the expected impacts of the rules through the regulatory impact assessments that we do with every single If, if you're doing that, rule. you're doing it internally because nobody knows that this is going on. No, now, sir. Let, let, since you've made that statement, let me ask this question. I have a Senate bill, we now have quite a, a number of uh, co-sponsors, that will put teeth in 321A because I don't believe you've been complying with, the, uh, with this. Uh, the bill that we would uh, have, the amendment that I would have that we're going to try to get through would say that you've got to do it before you pass or uh, put for, bring forth any more regulations. In other words, it puts teeth in it and says you've got to do it Will you, would you support that? Uh, I, I'm not going to take a position on the, uh, the bill, Senator, but I will tell you that through the rulemaking process, which is a public and open process, we do conduct economic analyses. Well, okay, then if that's true, then why would you not want to uh, support legislation that makes it a requirement? Because um, you may be gone someday and someone else may be in there and they may not be as cooperative as you are. Senator Vitter. Thank you.